Hi, my name is attorney Walter Ruth Not the Third, and I'm with Disability Resolution PA. I'm a disability attorney that practices social security disability law every single day. Here are the top 10 things. Let me read the actual, because this is what I wrote. The 10 choices disabled people face that no one knows about slash cares about. We need to change this. Some of these things will hit home. So if they upset you, I'm sorry. But we need to make the general population aware of what these things are. If we don't do that, they won't understand the poverty restrictions. And if they don't understand the poverty restrictions, then they cannot go forward and create legislation that they will push the reps to vote for to get disabled people out of poverty. Let's begin. Number one, disabled people will often face the one shower or use the washing machine rule, which is that they're either going to use the water from the shower or the washing machine. A lot of times they have to split it up even more, where they'll have a shower once every two days and use the washing machine every other week. That's because they don't have the money to pay for the electric and the water. Next one, number two. They buy a broken car and buy the parts to have a friend fix it over time. So what they're doing is it's a weird version of a loan. Instead of it being a, I'm giving you a little bit money, a bit of money, and now I have to go ahead and spend more and more and more per month to pay off my loan, they're paying off the car with a cheap amount and then changing the parts to make the car work thereafter. The idea behind this is that they basically will not have to go ahead and pay a lot of interest. And if they can get parts cheaply because they know somebody and they have a friend who can fix it, they can usually work it out. Now, most people don't go through this. Most people buy a car that's pretty much ready to go. Not to the disabled, they've got to buy a car that they have to basically find somebody to help them rebuild. Okay. Number three, ask more than three neighbors for fast food coupons to buy more food cheaper. Some of you guys get coupons in the mail, right? You get coupons for Burger King. You get coupons for McDonald's. You get coupons for Wendy's, which you then give to me. Those coupons, okay, those coupons, bottom line, are what disabled people will usually ask their neighbors for so that if they can go ahead and have a special day or a special event or a Chick-fil-A event, they'll be able to use those coupons. And if they have a particular thing they like, they collect those coupons from their neighbors. It doesn't have to be fast food. It could be anything. It could be coupons to go to the grocery store, etc. But they are harvesting coupons because they don't have the money to pay full price. Number four. Have a friend with benefits or quasi-significant other who has a car and house that you, the disabled person, is constantly plotting an escape plan from. The truth is, a lot of disabled people, before they receive their benefits, and even after, make such little money from the Social Security Disability Benefits that they go into a quasi-forced relationship with the person they can almost stand, and that they're always constantly trying to run away from. And the reason why this is, is because they need the basic fundamentals of somebody to get them to the hospital, somebody to put food in the fridge, etc. So they put up with abuse, and they put up with screaming fights, and they put up with all those things, solely so that they can go forward and have the basic amenities that they need. Number five, eating fast food can be a big deal. A special dinner is where other people invite you to a nice restaurant as a disabled person and then pay for your meal. A lot of people don't realize that disabled individuals who are receiving social security disability benefits are not able to afford going to traditional restaurants, Chili's, Ruby Tuesdays, and up, Ruth Chris, Ruth's Chris, whatever. They can't afford those things. The only time that they really get to go to those things would be when somebody else is paying for it. A big deal for a lot of disabled people is eating fast food. Some of you guys are saying, whoa, 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 I get $2,000 every month. You are an extreme rarity. I know many claimants who are getting $300 a month, $700 a month, $1,200 a month. Fast food requires money. It's a big deal and a special treat for those individuals. 
Number six, the savings account is used as a checking account and the checking account is always at zero. So a lot of disabled people will have two accounts, the checking account and the savings account. And they get all this money saved up from just saving a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit every single month. And they put it into their savings account. And hey, they're really working it and they're trying and they're trying and they're trying. And then all of a sudden, something happens. Car breaks. Something happens. They get sick and their insurance is not, is not going to cover it. They need a new phone. Whatever. Something happens. Well, that money goes from the savings account to the checking account. The checking account is empty. And then for the next couple of months, they go through the rotation of not having enough money. Okay? That's when they're using credit cards. Number seven, taking uncomfortable gigs like roof jobs, nude photo shoots, and shared beds to make some extra cash. Yes, there are disabled people out there who are literally sharing their bed to go ahead and comfort somebody else who pays for that comfort. I know it sounds weird, sounds odd. It does exist. Disabled people will go ahead and do these jobs for a couple of reasons. Financial reasons. Number two, they want to express themselves in some way because they feel like they can't do it the way they used to. Number three, some mental claimants get convinced to go ahead and do those things. There's a lot of reasons out there, but they're doing special gigs because they can't do traditional jobs. Because they're doing these special gigs, they're usually not making much money, but still to them, that's a lot of money. Eight, knowing that normal people get taxed and you are so low, you don't count. You're so low on the totem pole, okay, that you don't count. I get questions all the time. Should I file my taxes if I receive Social Security Disability Insurance benefits? Should I file my taxes if I receive SSI benefits, Supplemental Security Income? I always say yes. Update the SSA with your current contact information. Create consistency of record. It is important. Had people been doing that, they would have received their stimulus checks a heck of a lot faster, and they would have been directed to where they're currently living. Number nine. Just agreeing with people because you don't have much, but the slightest enemy could destroy what you have. I want to explain the problem with the fear bubble. Disabled claimants have what's called the fear bubble. They cannot afford to go outside of that bubble and tell somebody to go bleep themselves. They cannot usually afford to tell somebody to get the bleep off their land. They usually agree with people that they don't agree with in conversations because they are afraid that if they make an enemy, they do not have the resources or the physical or mental abilities to fight them. Just let that sink in. They are constantly usually appeasing other individuals that they disagree with because they fear having an enemy who could destroy them. Think about that. <clears throat> Number 10. Eating leftovers. Leftovers, leftovers from family events because you spent everything on transportation to go see your family. A lot of disabled individuals never go on vacations. A lot of disabled individuals cannot afford to even go and visit their family members on special events, holidays, birthdays, because they can't afford the transportation costs. And if they do afford the transportation costs, they usually can't afford the gifts. And if they can't afford the gifts, they're surely not going to be able to afford all the food. Food is becoming extremely expensive, especially in Florida. 11. Holding up the line with coupons and people being pissed you are taking so long. A lot of disabled people will notify those behind them that they have coupons ahead of time. They do all these little things to try and keep people in a relaxed state, to try and keep people from trying to target them. We see in the news, oh, this person was targeted because they were Asian. We see in the news, this person was targeted because they were black. We see in the news, this person was targeted because they believe something. 
The disabled people are a special class of individuals who deserve special legal protections, additional laws. They deserve all these things. And the reason why is because not only do they have physical impairments, they're blind, they have mental impairments, not only do they have those, but they are financially incapable of battling others. And that is not freedom. That is not a free nation. When people have money, they have the ability to defend themselves. And that is one of the main and probably one of the most important reasons that we need to increase Social Security disability benefits. Yeah, all, all across, SSA, retirement, spousal, widows, disabled adult child, all of them. My name is Attorney Walter Roof, not the third. If any of these stuck with you, please share them with other people so that they have a better awareness of what disabled individuals are going through. Um, I, I know I'm not as popular as most channels. I'm going to do a, a, a blinged out you know, video based upon all the little techniques I've learned. Maybe that'll get me more subscribers. But the point is, I'm hoping this brings awareness to individuals about how we need to treat our disabled people better. In law, we call them special classes of individuals. Can you think of a special class of individual who deserves more protection than the disabled American citizens that we interact with every single day? A thought. If you want the most up-to-date information, please reach out to me, catch up. Um, if you want to catch up with me about uh, the law firm stuff, uh, give me a call. If you want to catch up with me about questions about these videos, catch up with me on Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, Eastern Standard Time, Central, Mountain, Pacific. Uh, then you just go to uh, Alaska, Hawaii. You just take an hour off. So we're at 8 starting in Florida, and then Central you go to 7, and then, you know, Mountain Time you're going to uh, 6, and then Pacific Time you're going to 5, and then, you know, 4 and 3. The, the bottom line is just subtract the hours as you need to, all right? Have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll catch you a little bit later, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.